two, three, and one, two, three, two, step up and down. How's it going guys? Tyler Schwartz here with another Tyler Teaches, where I teach you some of my favorite tricks and steps. We are covering soft shoe or light shoe tricks. Um, <laughs> I've been getting requests for that for a while and I'm so excited to be dabbling into it. Uh, today we're going over double lifts or double bum kicks or whatever you want to call them. Irish dancing is weird and everybody kind of calls things differently, but double lifts is what I would call it. So we're gonna go with that for today. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you know when the next video is coming. But yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so double lift. We're talking about a one, two, switch, step up and down. Just that. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. This is kind of the 101. We're just gonna go over that trick first. And uh, if you wanna see more tricks that, that kind of stem from that, be sure to let me know in the comments. Um, so, and a one, two, switch, step up and down. So the big trick to this is the opening lift. When people hear the word double lift, they assume, oh, it means I'm gonna kick my bum twice in the air. But actually, this trick is more effective when you get that first lift sharp before you even leave the floor. Let me show you. So, you're gonna go, Hop, one, two, switch, step. So, one, two, three, four, five. Bum, 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 bum. You're gonna land onto that switch foot and you're gonna get that lift before you leave the ground. Before you leave the ground, okay? That way we get that sharp lift, that sharp visual. And on one, two, switch, step. It's happening already. And we can launch into the air into a straight, almost as if we're going into the, the, the spin from couple of videos ago. And a one, two, switch, step. We want to bring our feet together like that. Okay? So, and a one, two, switch, step, up. And just practice that for now. Starting from the lift, jumping off from that full lift, and bring our feet together. All right? And a one, two, switch, step, up. Okay? That way, we want this big visual, okay? So we get that sharp lift to start it, we bring it together, we make that shape, that's the first shape we make into the air. So as soon as this left leg, for this example, I'm launching off my left foot, when I launch off the foot, the first thing that happens as soon as I leave, as soon as my toenail leaves the ground, I'm bringing my legs together in almost like a pencil, pointed down shape. Now, the more you pull this knee back, and I'm not a very flexible person, but I, I can even pull this back a good bit. Um, the more you pull it back, the more visual you're gonna get from it. If you're here, it kinda, you, you're losing some range of motion here. If I'm back here, there's a lot more going on. Okay, so you wanna pull that knee back, all right, when we're doing all this stuff. And I'll one, two, switch, step, up. okay. So we did, and I'll one, two, switch, step, up. I want you to try, and I'll one, two, switch, step, up, bam. So, <laughs> You're now landing on one foot. You you launched off the left foot. You land on the left foot. In this example, if you're doing the right foot, you launch off right foot and you land on right foot. Okay. And a one, two, switch, step, up, band. So I'm still leaving the floor. As I leave the floor, my feet come together, and as I land, as my toenail touches the floor, that's when I sharply bring my back leg back up. Okay. By doing this, you're effectively. Um, distributing the movement evenly. So it's not so sharp that you don't see anything, but not too slow that nothing happens. You're, you're uh, making it a lot more balanced. You see, it, it stretches out that movement a lot more. Okay, so as soon as you leave, as soon as the toenail leaves the floor, bring it together, as soon as it lands, you bring that leg back up. Okay, so let's try that. Ready? Two, three, and uh, one, two, switch, stop, up, bend. All right. I even find this a little bit more challenging than actually doing the trick. We're really separating all the pieces to it so that we have all the technique and the fundamentals to it. We're not just jumping into it. We're learning each little piece to the trick. Okay, so if you're able to land on your nose right there, 
the rest of the trick, it, I mean, it's, it, it'll only be easier for you if you have that type of control and balance. All right, and now one, two, switch, step up, bang. The only thing missing now is that follow through, okay? So as soon as it's here, we bring it through, okay? From here and through. I'll give you a tip. The higher up on that toe, the more you can actually keep that extension all the way You're down here. You kind of have to figure it out. Yeah. So you want to stay up on there, on your toes. Yeah. Two, three, and one, two, three, step up and down. Yeah. And then make sure you're always complementing it with the other foot. So I've been doing right foot switch to left. Let's do left foot switch to right. A one, two, switch, step, up, up, follow through. Okay? And there's a lot of things you can do with this trick. I wouldn't necessarily calling it cheating the first lift, but having that technique allows you to do a whole lot more, create more visual, stretch the move out from beginning to end more. So you get more of a visual. Um, it's part of how it's possible to, if you're crazy enough to go for like a triple lift or any of that extra <laughs> stuff. I remember my competitive years, I actually was trying to put that into my steps. It's uh, not easy. So that's a nice fun challenge there. Um, but you can also, just like our, toe sp our, our, our spin we did the other, the other video, you can actually do this as well, quarter turn, and do a full spin with this. There's a lot of things you can do with it. I hope this was informational to some of you. What may seem obvious for some is, uh, to, to others, so I hope that uh, helped you understand a little more about double lifts. And I hope this technique helps create a better visual for your double lifts. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you like this content and want to see more, let me know what light shoe, soft shoe trick you want to see next. And uh, until then, I will see you next time.